Hey there, it is Canada today, so happy Canada Day. I've been, we've had a mixed bag of weather today. There was some rain, no wind though, really love that. Uh, rarity for these parts. Um, and I've been working on some bikes, so. <clears throat> Doing a few little tune-ups here and there, working on drive chains and brakes and that sort of thing. But I want to talk about this bike. And this is the Diamondback Moonraker from Sportcheck. Uh, Diamondback is one of Sportcheck's brands. They care, carry their bikes, they carry their helmets and other bike accessories. And we picked this up at our local store for our son. He outgrew his bike. He went from a 24 inch tire bike all the way up to a 27 and a half inch tire bike, which is bigger than mine. <laughs> which that's not mine, this one here is mine. Okay, now, <clears throat> overall, not a bad bike. The, the drive chain is a six speed, or sorry, 18 speed with six on the back, three on the front. It's a Revo shift shifter on the handlebar for the rear, uh, which is numbered and Revo shift friction on the bar, which isn't numbered. Now, basically you just turn this until it changes gears. And if you gotta make micro adjustments, you can with this one, just like uh, those old thumb uh, style shifters that weren't numbered. <coughs> so, um, it shifts really smooth, which I like. It comes with not the bottle holder, but a place to put it. Just one, not two. Um, it also has these here. Uh, that is good for a rack or trailering. Um, and other than that, that's about it. As I said, 27 and a half inch tires. And this is where we're gonna start here on uh, a few cons. So this is not the original tire, okay? This is not the original tire. This is the original tire. And this tire has tread wear. Like, I mean, supreme tread wear <laughs> at multiple spots around the tire, okay? <clears throat> and what happened there was the brakes were tuned a little too tight or way too tight. And any time my son hit the brakes, he just barely had to touch them. He didn't have to squeeze them hard. Uh, the bike would go into a skid and thus the traction wore off. And that is after a week, I'm not kidding, a week of riding on pavement, okay? So, uh, we talked to Sport Check about that, and they basically told us, well, there's no warranty on the tire wear. So, there you go. Uh, with that said, after a week, we probably could have just returned the bike, no problem. And said, well, we're unsatisfied. But we didn't. We put on these Kendas. They're a little bit wider. And uh, these Kendas, you can get at Canadian Tire. I got Kendas put on that bike. Sorry, I put them on there. Uh, my wife's bike here came with Kenda tires, and that is a bike shop bike, Manhattan Smoothie. And there's a tire, or sorry, there's a bike in there with Kenda tires on it as well that I installed. And they're really, really good tires as far as I'm concerned. He's had this for over a month, and it shows no sign of wear or tear. <coughs> Now, the other issue I want to talk about uh, is these cables. Um, there's nothing wrong with the cables themselves, okay? These are coated cables, okay? Good for weathering. However, these are held up in these U-shaped things that are weld welded on there with these plastic clips, okay? You see them there? It's a U-clip that clips up into that welded piece. 
and for wood. I don't know why they designed it that way, but uh, as you can see, they've fallen off, which I figured when I first seen them, which I did not see in store, that that was gonna, you know, that, that would happen. And uh, sure enough, we've lost a couple already. So, yeah, I don't know why it was designed that way. If you look at my wife's bike here, it, it goes through this welded piece, right? Um, I, I really don't know why they go with something like that. Now that itself would be a warranty issue and uh, we could probably get some new clips, but that's just gonna keep happening. So I don't know what we're honestly gonna do about that. But um, Other than that, so those are the main two issues I have with the bike, the shifters. I'm usually not a fan of this style of shifter and for the price point of this bike, I'm surprised they went with this style of shifter, but uh, Revo shifts, I, I said, I don't mind the Revo shift. My wife's bike has a Revo shift on it and we've had no issues with that. So um, I don't expect much issues with this. Uh, the other thing, what I do like about, cause I find with this style hand uh, bar, uh, handle shifter, uh, there's problems with the front and normally what happens is the cable runs down this bar all the way down and it hooks underneath and comes up to here. And that hard turn can cause issues down the road with that gearing. Uh, if I show you my daughter's bike, it does that, okay? So here's the cable that comes down all the way down here and, and up to the shifter, or to, sorry, to the derailleur. And this one comes down this bar and down here, which I think is gonna work way better. So I'll give points to the bike for that. But overall, would I recommend this Diamondback Moonraker? It rides good, it shifts good. However, when it comes to right out of the store, these tires that, in my opinion, are absolute crap. And when it comes to this issue with how the cables are run along the bar here, um, I, don't, I don't think I'd honestly purchase it again. Like, I don't mind working on bikes, but for someone who doesn't do that, and you just have to turn around and take it to a bike shop to get the tires replaced right away, and then deal with this thing on an ongoing basis, I, I don't think a person would wanna do that. So overall, not a bad, bad bike, but for $435 on Sportcheck's website, I'd expect a bit better design honestly anyway i'm gonna wrap that up and that's the video